Hello guys, Sherifa here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to create GD extensions to extend Godot. So you'll need Godot engine itself, obviously. You most likely have it already. And we're gonna need Visual Studio code. That's what we're gonna use for the series. And we're gonna need Python and we're gonna need Sconce. That's the build tool we're using for building the extensions. So if you're on Linux, we're going to start with there. So this is going to be for both Linux and Windows. So you know the drill. We're, we don't have to download anything from here. So we could just open up a terminal. First, you'll need to install Snap if it's not already installed. If you're on Ubuntu, you probably have it already. And I could just go ahead and run it. Already have it already. Next, you want to install code. Already have it installed. So you're using snap to install VS code. Then we need a compiler to compile our C++ code. So we need to install G++, which I already have installed. Then most of this, all distributions pretty much have uh, Python 3 installed already. But if not, you could go ahead and install it. It's just sudo up install Python 3. And I already have that installed as well. Now let's clear this window. And then we could install sconce. And I already have that as well. Now we could open up code. Let's pop it up here. And you'll be greeted with the screen. We need to install our C language. So go to extensions. Look for C here. Then go ahead and install it. And now we are all set. So we could check, for example, let's create a simple file. I'm already in a test folder. So let's call this hello.cpp and we could test uh see let's just drop some code in here so include you could ignore that for now so go to quick fixes fixes quick fixes ignore disable squigglies and then we want to add a main function so int main sorry that's my good old kicking in there and std see you hello world with a new line at the end to drop down and then return zero now let's control save that and then we could check g g plus plus so we could say g plus plus that we pass in the name of that file so hello that cpp and then we need the output file so dash o i could just call it hello uh, we need to fix that there there let's double save again uh, my mistake i have stream not IO Steam. Now let's run it again. And there you go. Now we could say dot slash. Uh, hello. And there you go. Hello world. Now for scones, we need to just call scones, but we need a file. So we need to create a. Uh, oops. There you go. We need to create create a construct file. Let's go here. Uh, there here create a new s construct file and we just wanted to create a program so we could just say program with the uppercase we're gonna go over another video covering scones but for now we just want to create something simple so we could say hello scones just to separate it. that's just the name of the program then we need to pass in the same hello cpp again could save that and then we could call scones scones perfect apple and that creates an output file or object file as name and then it creates this hello scones and we could go ahead and run that let's just clear this again to dot slash hello uppercase hello scones and there you go all right now for windows okay now for windows you need to install vs code then go ahead and download c plus plus in the extensions tab next we need to download something called mingw it's kind of a replacement for g plus plus it has the same binaries to compile with but we're also going to install my microsoft's built um, own compiler and that's called cl or msvc we're going to get to that in a bit so go ahead and install this software and then in here you set it to be the root of your install directory 
it's recommended for because of the pet. You don't want it to be too long. I already have it installed, so we can go ahead and just run it. Now here you need to look for MGW32 GCC or G++. And whenever you mark for installation, then you could go to the installation up top and then apply changes. Next you need to install Python and you could check in the terminal if you already have it installed by you type in python-v or py-v. If you do, you're good to move on. This is required for scons to work because scons uses python scripts. The construct file is a, actually a python script. Next to install scons, type in python m.pip space pip install scons and I already have it installed so just go ahead and move on and it's located in a weird position so we'll get to that soon you're gonna need to remember that location now you need to go to your environment variables so type in environment in the search window then go to environment variables go to path and then select edit then now you need to add that mingw bin file folder as well as the python uh scans location install location you go ahead and copy that then folder and then you could create a new one paste it in i already have it as i said so next you're gonna look for that scans location and it should be somewhere in your update of a folder so in your c directory users your name then app data local let's scroll all the way down to packages and then find python foundation python software foundation and then local cache local python 3.2 as of right now anyway so as of this video then scripts and then there it is scones now copy that entire pad from the window i know it's a bit weird but copy it and then paste it in there create a new one paste it i already have it as well so we're gonna just delete that then okay clear and clear okay okay and then you're all set now to install microsoft's compiler go to visual studio go to their downloads and scroll all the way down to their build tools for visual studio then build tools for visual studio 2002 22 sorry and go ahead and download and install that once installed i have this installed already but if you go to modify and go to individual components then search for c++ cli the latest build tools it's supposed to be somewhere there there it is to support for windows build tools CLI. just install all the required things for that for so msvc version 143 then install it that will be installed instead of modify and then you're all set okay so now we can create a quick hello world program and then we could test it out and see if it runs with g plus plus same as before g plus plus the up the file name cpp then the output file the dash o and then there you go oh hello world well, I don't know why I call it GPP, but it works. <clears throat> then we could try to use cons, which we still need that file for. There you go. No file found. Now we have to create that file again, as usual. And then type in program. The name of the output program. And then the name of the file that we're using. Dot .cpp. And this will use Microsoft's uh, compiler by default that we installed. And to get rid of that error that you get there we need to give the o stream output permission so we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to do that real quick so let's go over to that location where it's at okay so let's get over to there now so first you have to go to program files 36 visual studio 2022 then build tools vc tools mvs msvc then 1441 include O stream. <clears throat> now what we have to do now is right click on it and edit 
then go to the security tab and then click edit again and the permissions and we need to allow it to write so we'll give it check mark it and then apply and that error should now be gone could write again let's change the file first so you see the difference so it's cons didn't change anything here because we didn't change anything let's just call it scons2 and it's cons there you go you're all set if you want to tell scons to use the g plus plus instead of uh, microsoft's msv vc compiler you just need to copy and paste this in your in the top of the scon script file. so import os that's operating system then environment equal environment env and open close uh quotations then path that's the same path that we created the environment path and then we sell it to use the tools and mingw and then that should be it. now whenever you run it it should be using g plus plus instead and there you go all right guys and then that should be it so in the next video i'm going to maybe uh, go over scans a bit and then after that i want to do a crash course or i made that one video probably I want to do a C++ crash course since this is for beginners. So I'm assuming you guys don't know C++ as much. much. And then after that, we get into GD script. GD extensions. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And like and subscribe for the next update. See you in a bit.